Hey, hey, welcome to Half the Metal. Well, we've reached the end of 2023 and we're going out in style. As I've often said, my favorite G.I. Joe figure is the Crimson Guard. So what better way to end the year than to look at his big brother, the Classified version. So meet the Classified Crimson Guard. This figure was released in 2022 with all original parts. As far as I know, anyway. And it's great! I have no notes! Well, I'll see you next time everybody, and have a happy new year! Oh, okay, I guess I can talk about it some more. That does mean I have to repeat myself again by saying, yep, that's a Crimson Guard. They beautifully captured the Crimson Guard look here. So, as an homage to the original, it's a solid 10. By the way, normally I show you just a figure first, but in this case, I wanted to show you it in all its glory from the start, with all the accessories. Anyway, let's talk about the detailing. Oh, the exquisite detailing from head to toe. Literally, as we're starting with the helmet. From the emblem on the forehead, to the thin silver slit, to the silver vents on the front and at the ears, it's all very impressive. So is the silver on the collar right below. One point of criticism though, the grey paint on the shoulders and braided cord should have been silver or gold. Next, there's the Crimson Guard sigil on the left shoulder, that's very clear, and the buttons, medals and stuff on the chest. Not forgetting the Cobra logo, which is nice and prominent. As it should be. His back is less impressive, but that's supposed to be covered by the backpack, so who cares? The legs and boots are fine, though I'm a little annoyed the silver stripes don't go all the way down. All in all though, yeah, great job on the detailing, with the helmet being my favorite part in that regard. As for the articulation, it exists. Let's move on. Actually, no, you know what? I do want to say one thing about it. I don't really like the joint in the middle of the chest. It's distracting and makes me very much aware I'm looking at a toy, not a character. Now, let's actually move on by talking about the accessories, of which there are many. And let's start with the biggest one, the backpack. I really like the little silver Cobra logo on there, though the whole thing could have used some more silver. Also, I'm not sure how I feel about it being black. I mean, it looks really good on the figure, but it's not crimson red like the first version. This comes down to how much being faithful to the original matters to you. The rifle looks good and has lots of molded detailing, as well as a silver bayonet. It's a bit difficult to get him to hold it properly, but um, it looks pretty cool when he does. Up next are the sword and sheath. Now, those do look nice. But they're a pain in the ass! For one thing, the sheath attaches to the belt, but will fall off if you handle the figure, like, at all. For another, the sword is stuck in there really tightly and takes a lot of force to remove if you slide it all the way in. He's also got a now this is a knife that cheats on the other side, which you have to either move around or move the arm to get proper access to. Lastly, he's got a pistol that slides into his tie holster. Unfortunately, the holster is a bit loose and will slide down over the knee when handling the figure. That would be kind of embarrassing in a combat situation. And those were the accessories! A good bunch, but not without some minor problems. I guess I should also mention this figure has no problem standing upright. But I think Bazooka, specifically my Bazooka, was just an outlier in the falling down department. So, I'm gonna stop bringing that up in my classified reviews. And that was the classified Crimson Guard. A great figure, no doubt. But is it my favorite classified figure, like the original is my favorite vintage one? Well, no. <coughs> There's just too many tiny flaws that gnaw at me. So, my favorite one for the moment is the Battle Android Trooper. Still, the Crimson Guard, I'd say, is my second favorite and a worthy subject of the 350th episode. And that's it for this year! Uh, well, for the main half the battle series anyway, there should still be a Saturday shorty on New Year's Eve Eve. 
But for this show, I'll see you in 2024. Have a great new year, everybody. And hey, why not like, share and subscribe if that's your thing. And no, I will not be reviewing the Python Patrol Crimson Guard classified figure. I don't have it, and please stop offering to send me one. Steve, I'm looking in your general direction.